Hello everybody. Welcome to the Microsoft Excel tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn how to edit data in Excel worksheet. First, let us see how to change data in Excel worksheet. There must be some situation when you want to change the data in Excel worksheet. For example, if we want to change the content of this cell, here we can see the text one. And the simplest way to change the data of this cell is to type simply type what this cell to replace what is inside this cell. So if we write here, it will override the existing content. But this technique is good only if the content of the cell is small. Um, say in the cell we have very long text and if we want to change anything inside this text uh, we can uh, do the same thing uh, that we can write the whole text again but this become very troublesome because we have to write down all the long text so there is a better option uh, and that is uh, we, we have to select the cell and in the formula bar we can see the content of that cell in this formula bar we can do some word processing on the contents of this cell and uh, we can replace the content of this cell very easily without typing the whole word another option to uh, change data is to select the cell and press F2 on the keyboard and the cursor goes at the end of the line and we can move in the cursor and type whatever we want All these techniques can be applied to insert new uh, data in a cell. For example, uh, we can simply type here or we, after selecting this cell, uh, we can write anything in the formula bar. selecting any cell we can um, press the F2 on the keyboard and uh, I can write anything and we can hit enter now we will see on doing an edit action In this cell, if we want to edit some data, for example, uh, and write something, and think that uh, we have um, done some mistake, then we can go to the quick access toolbar. There is a under button, and if we click this button or press Ctrl Z in the keyboard it will reverse the action similarly if uh, uh, again uh, we can undo more than one action um, in one go um, in here we can see in the continue one you now I have tag two now tapping three now tapping four and on the drop down menu beside that undo button we can see we have some 
undo action so we can uh, I am undoing uh, previous three actions so the content of the cell become one so in this way we can undo more than one action now we will see how to copy and move the data in the excel worksheet to start the copying first we have to select the range that you want to copy if uh, you, uh, now i am selecting the range from 1 to 9 uh, after selecting uh, on the home tab we have to click the copy button after clicking the copy button we can see the selected range are displayed with animated dashes and uh, this tells us that we have selected this region to copy now to paste this content first we have to go to the destination uh, that means we have to select the cell where we want to paste this data after selecting uh, that cell um, we have to click the paste button and the whole copied contents are pasted to the destination there's another shortcut to this paste command is um, just press the enter key uh, and after, se uh, after selecting a cell and press the enter key um, this is the shortcut of the paste command now if we want to move this data from this column a to this column E what we need to do is first select the range of data we need to move then click the cut button then go to the destination cell select that cell and click the paste button and the shortcut for this paste command is the same as before select the destination cell and click the enter button uh, in this way we can move the range of cells from one from the source to the destination now we'll see the keyboard shortcut of copy and paste command to copy first uh, we will select the region we want to copy then press ctrl c on the keyboard and then select the destination cell and press ctrl v on the keyboard in this way we can copy the uh, content from source to destination uh, to move uh, the uh, here we can see the selected regi uh, region uh, are still being displayed in animated dashes if we click the escape button on the keyboard uh, it will remove the animation now to um, move this content from this uh, region first uh, to another uh, cell we, we have to select the cells and uh, press ctrl x on the keyboard and then select a destination cell and press ctrl v on the keyboard and in this way you can move the content from source to destination now let us see um, what is clipboard clipboard is the storage area for copied and cut data That is, whenever we copy or uh, or cut something, the content is stored in the clipboard, and the clipboard can um, contains up to twenty four different copied or cut items. Um, to see this, uh, to see the clipboard, um, uh, we can uh, click the. dialog box launcher in the clipboard button group um, that is a small array um, a small arrow uh, the clipboard item when we click this uh, small arrow the clipboard that box will appear and we'll, you can see here on the left side now we, uh, we are selecting one cell and clicking the copy button uh, 
whenever you click the copy button you can see the copy content on the clipboard and here we can see one of 24 item uh, the title of this clipboard you can see one of 24 now if we um, click in the cell and um, click the copy button you can see the new copy content is on the top of this clipboard and if we uh, select another uh, two or three cells and uh, click the copy button we can see that content in the clipboard if we click I select another region and uh, click the cut button we can see that content in that uh, in the clipper region um, uh, we, uh, whenever we um, select a destination cell and click the paste button um, uh, the last content uh, last cutter copied content from the clipboard is paste uh, but uh, from this uh, clipboard we can um, copy any item uh, from this clipboard uh, uh, to do this we have to select the destination cell and click uh, the content that you want to copy from this clipboard and now we are clicking this um, content and then we can see with the contents are copied to the destination so uh, what we learn uh, is that the clipboard the storage area for copied and cut content.